Oh, hi, my name is Glenn Hustleman. I'm just making this video for the use of free accounting software to show you guys how to transfer um, Fast3 Desktop to a new computer. So, um, first thing is that I've just released a new version of free accounting software, um, quite close to the end of financial year, so that includes, um, um, you know, the new tax tables and tax returns and that kind of thing, but also a feature that makes it a bit easier to transfer your file. So uh, the first step in doing this is to go to our website, click desktop software download now, and then you can download um, the Windows, Mac or Linux installer. And you want to install the new version on both the old computer as well as of course the new computer. So I've already done that and so I'll just start up um, recounting software there. Okay, I just put my password in. Okay, now I've got two files here, uh, or two businesses. Uh, one is a local file. I've named this called this business local file PTYLTD, um, but of course it'd be your business name there. And um, in the type column, it's blank. That just means it's a locally stored file. It means stored on your computer. Um, the other business here is, um, I've called it hosted business PTYLTD and the type is Bassoff bracket hosted. So that means it's a, a business where we're hosting the data on the Bassoff server. So you could have a lot more um, businesses uh, listed, but just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll just go with the two. So the first thing you have to do is... Um, um, transfer your business file so I've just selected this um, um, this business which is called local file PTYLTD and having gone into that um, file I can click on F and then click save backup file okay and I'll just save it onto the desktop um, now if you were transferring a lot of files across you'd have to repeat this for each file. So um, um, just, you know, call it something to say which business it is um, to make that um, easier. Okay, and then just save that. Okay, now if I go to the desktop, um, we can see that that um, file is now stored there. Um, you might want to transfer it to a USB or something like that to, to so that you can take it across to the new computer. But for my demo, I'll just put it over here. Okay, now um, in free accounting software, there's two files. One is the business file and the other one is your FAS identity file. So um, you can't open your business file without the FAS identity file. So um, it's like the, having the keys to your car, you can't drive the car without the keys, but it's even worse because um, if you lose your keys to your car, you could probably get someone to um, make up new ones for you. Um, with VAT3 Desktop, the data is encrypted and it's pretty much gone. So um, there is a new feature here which is called Backup FAS Identity File. And um, you, you want to do that um, at some point, um, you don't have to do it regularly, but you just have to have a backup at some point um, so that you can, um, if, if your computer dies, you could um, get this um, FAS identity file from the backup. So anyway, if you're transferring your file to a new computer, um, one way to transfer your FAS identity file is to back it up. So I'm going to click backup FAS identity file and then I'll just put that on the uh, desktop. So going here to the desktop, um, uh, did I save it to the desktop? Might have saved it somewhere else. Let's try that again. Save backup FAS identity file. Go Oh, it is there, um, so I don't know why it didn't display that. Let's have another look. All right, so there it is. It's just 
taking some time to update this. Um, so that's it there. Okay, so um, having um, saved those two files, we can copy those files across to the new computer and then um, set them up over there. Uh, for this demo, I'm just going to do it all on the one computer, so I'm just going to reset this computer back to um, the state as if it was like a fresh install. So let me um, exit that. Um, now, to simulate this being a fresh install of Free Accounting Software, I'll just go to um, where the files are normally stored and delete them. So they are in C drive users under your username now the next folder here is a hidden folder called app data i get into it just by clicking into the address bar here and typing in the folder name and hitting enter um, then it's in roaming and then fas identity so there is the um, fas identity file and in this downloads folder um, that is where um, the uh, business files are generally stored. Now, if this was a fresh install, those two, those things won't be there. So um, rather than actually just delete them, um, I'm going to do something a little bit safer, which is to create a new folder and call it hidden files. I'm just going to move these files into there okay so the software won't find those files um, and it, it will just um, you know, think they don't exist okay so now if we do if we did a fresh install we can start up the software and it would uh, take us to this new profile page or new FAS identity it should say um, you don't want to fill that in. If you create a new FAS identity, even if you choose the same name and the same password, that is a new FAS identity and it will not have access to the previous businesses. Okay? So don't fill that in. What you want to do is down the bottom here it says open existing FAS identity. Click that and then um, it takes you to this page um, which is normally the first page you see. However, the um, button is grayed out. Um, you have to click more here and then click choose FAS identity file. At this point, we can go and select the FAS identity file that we saved. Okay, so you m I've saved it to the desktop. You might have it on a USB or something like that, but you just select that and click open. Okay. Having done that, it displays your name and the location of the file, as well as it has enabled this unlock FAS identity button. So you put in your password and click unlock FAS identity. Okay, and we can already see that the uh, one business is listed there. And the reason for that is that business is hosted on Bassoff server. So having started up this software and um, and use that same FAS identity, um, the server is giving us access to that business. Um, whilst, um, just to complete the transfer of the FAS identity, um, you could, in fact, you could just keep opening your FAS identity just like I've um, described there, but you, it's better to have it um, um, automatically finding it so you don't have to select every time. So you just click on the F and then there is this uh, link here that says import FAS identity file. And what that does is it just takes the FAS identity that you've already got opened and puts it into the default location. So I'll just click that now and um, feed file import successful. Okay, so what that does is if I exit the software now and then restart the software um, it's taking me straight to the unlock page and it's already um, got my name there. You can see that the text here says tip make a backup copy of your FAS identity file. Um, 
and it gives you the path to that file there. Um, so anyway, I'll just put in my password. Okay, and again, there's the um, Bassoff hosted business there. So now we want to get the other business also um, listed here. Um, so what you do is you click on F and then open and then um, go to where you've saved that mybusiness.fas file and open it. Okay, that's opened the mybusiness.fas file and you can just, you know, click on your business there and go to sales or purchases or um, pay slips and so on. And that is a perfectly reasonable way to use your file. So every time you want to use it, you can just click on F and open. Um, however, you might also want to have your file list um, file displayed in this list here. So um, I'll show you how to do that. So having gone back to that list, I've closed the file. So I need to open that again. So I'll just click on open, select the file and open it. And when you open the file, it takes you to this messages page. Um, the theory behind that is that if there was a message for you, you'd see it straight up. So anyway, to put the file into um, that initial list, um, we want to send a message to ourselves. So um, just have it as status closed and then um, um, could write a, a message like um, mess just message yourself or maybe something like initial file import okay and then um, type in your password uh, the next tick box here says auto send when message is saved and so that will send this file to yourself as soon as you click this button so I just click that now oh hang on sorry wrong password and then okay now you get this green message that says file sent okay so when I um, click on this on my name at the top left to go back to the business list it actually says uh, a new or updated file is available for download so you can click this button here download new files and it downloads that file and then you can just double click on it as per normal Okay, so um, that's how you transfer um, Fast3 Desktop to a new computer. Um, I hope this video has been useful to you and thanks for watching.